for you tonight, a live shot from our porch. This is at the WLWT studios here in Mount Auburn. It looks really pretty from this view here. The snow definitely coming down as we are expecting several inches around the Cincinnati area. Now, with the only tri-state forecast that's independently certified most accurate, here's Chief Meteorologist Kevin Robinson. Well, this is going to be that type of snow that coats on to just about everything, trees, cars, you name it out there, because it's of the wetter variety. Temperatures are hovering around freezing, and that's going to play a role in our accumulations, I believe, at least over the next couple of hours. The winter storm warning continues as we are fully now in the swing of snowfall here in the tri-state at this time. This winter storm warning in effect until early tomorrow afternoon. Basically, for folks along and southeast of Interstate 71, so that's where the heaviest snow will fall throughout the evening hours. Look at this. System here, quite a range from the Atlantic states all the way back to the coast of, should I say, the Gulf of Mexico tonight. Over here around us, we've got snow falling at this time. The rain snow line has transitioned at least halfway through the bluegrass, but this snow extends all the way back down past Evansville tonight. So, Pretty looking scene here on top for Mount Auburn, and you can see the snow continuing to fly and again beginning to accumulate on most surfaces, holding at 32 at the airport. Even though we didn't see a very long period of mild weather, roadway temperatures have actually managed to creep their way up. We're now into March, so even though it's cloudy, the pavement is still able to absorb a little bit of heat. So I really think it's going to take till sunset between before the road conditions really begin to deteriorate across the area. That north wind, though, at 17, that will keep the temperatures falling, which will also help those accumulations begin to take place. Here's Power of Five Live Radar still mixing in with a little bit of rain, if you will, down around Maysville over towards West Union, but it's all snow here across the greater Cincinnati metro area. You can see within the 275 loop, we've got some pretty good snows going. Matter of fact, some of them heavy here on 471 down across parts of northern parts of Boone, Kitten, and Campbell counties, and then steady snow continuing to fall up 127, finally beginning to fill in around. Brookville now, also up towards Middletown. Remember, the farther north you go, the lighter the snow is going to be. The farther south, though, much heavier. Look at this from Falmouth over towards areas just north of Dry Ridge, over to the north of Owenton, and then to the south as well. Some fairly heavy snow whenever you see these darker blues. Now, with temperatures hovering at or above freezing still across much of northern Kentucky, it will take these heavier snowfall rates to get the road conditions to begin to deteriorate. So, again, I say you probably have about another one to two hours, but once the sun sets after about seven o'clock, conditions should go downhill pretty quick. Temperatures will be tumbling back through the 20s with snow continuing and slick spots beginning to develop as it turns colder. Right now, 1 to 3, again, there will be a sharp cutoff. The snow will decrease drastically as you head up north, as you get farther north of the Ohio River. Meanwhile, here in the metro, it looks like a solid 3 to 6 for us, with the 6 being across northern Kentucky. And then once you get down into our southernmost communities here, Dry Ridge, Falmouth, over towards Brooksville and Maysville, even though it's still rain right now, this is where the big winners will be up into Georgetown. And Peebles, so farther south across the viewing area where you'll find the heavier snow. It's the stationary front with this little area of low pressure riding up along it. And as that happens, well, some colder air is beginning to undercut it. And you can see how we're seeing that rain snow line has been progressing its way south throughout the afternoon hours. So here's a look at future cast. Here's five o'clock. Good job with the snow coverage. Notice it continues through the evening hours, but notice the darker blues down here where we have the heavier snowfall from BV over towards Brooksville and Maysville. By midnight, the snow will begin to taper off for us here in Cincinnati, and it will be over by the morning rush for our neighbors to our south and east. It will end last the farther south and east you are of Cincinnati, hence the higher totals. Then we get into clear skies tomorrow night, and we set up for record cold. So 15 for a low tonight as the snow ends around midnight here in the metro. Of course, it will be later farther south and east, and I do expect snow-covered roads later tonight. 23 for a high tomorrow. Morning clouds with afternoon sun. Very cold. Here's a look at your day planner. Only 15 in the morning, 17 around lunchtime, and then with some late day sun, we'll sneak into the 20s. How about four below tomorrow night? Could tie a record. Only 27 on Friday, but then Mike and Sheree, look at this. When was the last time we said this in the seven day? It's dry from start to finish once we get beyond this storm, and it warms up to next week. Uh.